Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, it's me. My name is Christine and today I'm gonna do a recreation of a Shea Mitchell makeup look. I've been told a couple times that I look like her and I'm like, do, do you see you see my face lately I've been doing nothing but lookbooks and styling videos so I thought it'd be fun to sit down with you guys hang out and recreate a fun makeup look I have a lot of new makeup goodies here and a lot of things that I have been showing you guys kind of like on my Instagram stories but if you guys don't follow me on Instagram yet I will go ahead and link my socials down below but I am much more active on Instagram that is like where I am when I'm not posting on YouTube so if you guys are interested in seeing this makeup look and a recreation of Shea Mitchell's signature look first make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the little notification bell and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video first off I want to show my skin some lovin I lately tried out a little contour stick from Rimmel and it broke me out so bad so I feel like my skin is still recovering from that and I'm gonna be going in with this Adam first milk sheet mask and this was gifted to me I haven't tried any of their masks yet so I'm excited to try this out Okay, so now that I've left the mask on for an hour, <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's only been like 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Oh my god, my skin feels amazing. Do you see this plumpness? We're gonna go ahead and finish up the skin prep really quick. So I have here the Erna Lazo Multitask Eye Gel Cream, and look at this applicator. So you push it here and product comes out, and then you just pat it into your under eye area, but I feel like this packaging is Genius it is so convenient and easy to use and I also feel like the eye cream itself is very very hydrating I'm gonna go ahead and breeze through my brow I'm gonna be using the benefit brow pomade in number six and then this little brush that's also from benefit I like using the brush because I feel like it gives me more control Okay, brows are done. They turned out so good today. I put a little concealer underneath because usually when I want like a really clean looking brow, I'll go for that. I don't do that all the time, but special occasions. And then next we're gonna go in with the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer. Oh, okay, it contains coconut fruit extract and coconut oil normally breaks me out, but I've heard such good things about this and the texture actually looks really really nice so I'm just gonna go ahead and try it out and hopefully it doesn't break me out I'm going to Sephora this weekend I'm actually leaving tomorrow to my hotel and it's a Friday Saturday Sunday event and I'm so excited um, there's a lot of the brand people that I'm like good friends with that are flying in from New York so I'm excited to see everybody also this primer feels incredible it almost feels like a really lightweight moisturizer I'm trying out a new eyeshadow palette and I don't know how much fallout is gonna happen so I don't want to risk ruining my base makeup okay so I want to go for something like that and Shay Mitchell just look absolutely stunning I love the way that her eyes look here so I want to recreate something like that I'm gonna be using this new eyeshadow palette I'm so excited this is the naked reloaded palette and the colors in here are so Stunning. Ah. Also, this is not an ad, but I thought I would go ahead and whip out all of my Luxie brushes. These brushes are some of my favorites. They are so high quality, so affordable, and she makes some really good, like, tiny little detail brushes. I do have a discount code. I'll go ahead and leave it down below. I believe it is, like, Christine20 or something like that. So we'll go in first with this actually Prime Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm doing kind of a cut crease look, so I want all the shadows to be super vibrant. I'm gonna go in with this big brush. This is the Luxie 250 Large Eye Blending Brush, and this one has, like, a fat brushy and so that will just help us to blow out the crease color so I'm gonna mix the two of these together so first I'm just patting to distribute all the powder this is patting okay it already looks like kind of blended and then I'm gonna go ahead and buff okay so that is really nicely buffed out and next I'm gonna go in with we'll mix these two because the dark brown I think might be too intense and by the way I'm using the Luxie 235 blending brush Then going in with that fluffier brush that we use at the beginning. I'm going back to the picture and as you can see her cut crease, that dark color comes pretty far in and my darkness doesn't go in that far. So I'm actually just going to go back in with the small brush and I didn't pick any more up. I'm just going to do some swiping. 
that's much better so now I'm just gonna pick up more of that transition color on that big brush and help to buff out some of the rough edges this is like outside my comfort zone okay I'm like I'm like sweating I'm buffing so much and like my armpits are sweating okay so that is really nice and blended I'm actually gonna go in with a concealer and cut the crease I'm gonna use this L'Oreal infallible full wear concealer this is what I use to I almost said trim my brows but to cut out my brows and I have been really enjoying this my scrunchie fell out Hold, please okay I'm gonna use this Luxie precision crease brush the way that my crease is set up like I do not have a deep crease at all and so I don't want to go too high because I have tried this before and it does look really funny I'm gonna look up to see kind of like how high I want to take it and I don't want to take it much higher than that because honestly my crease is so tiny I'm doing like stamping motions I'm not doing like a drag but I just find that it is easier to get a good shape by doing little like tapping I'm actually gonna use my finger right here to blend out it does look really crazy right now but once I throw on the lashes and finish up the liner it's gonna really come together so I'm gonna curl my lashes really quick do my mascara you guys I'm going to Maui on Wednesday next week by the time you watch it I think I will probably be in Maui already I feel like I haven't been on a trip in so long like I think the last trip I took that was like really exciting was Tokyo back in January and ever since I went to Japan I've been wanting to go back ever since so Brian and I want to plan something like that down in the future okay and then I want to go in with my heroin make curl and volume mascara you guys know I love this I picked this up when I was in Japan and this is like the best waterproof mascara ever so I always do one thin coat on my lashes because I have such straight lashes like as soon as I curl them they'll look good right now but in an hour if I put on mascara they'll be like stick straight so I have to put waterproof first and then next I'll go in with the benefit roller lash mascara I have been using this and I can't tell if I like it yet Actually, I think I do like that roller lash. I feel like it makes my lashes look amazing. Next, I'm going to go in with a brown liner. I'm going to use this Ilia Clean Line Gel Liner in the color Dusk. It looks like Shay has like a dark brown smudge on her upper lash line. So I'm going to go ahead and smudge that up here just on the outer edges of my eyes. And I like this eyeliner, but I feel like, like you kind of have to work with it a little bit. So I'm going to do it kind of thick and then I'll smudge it out. Going in with a Luxie Small angle to 15 brush just like that and you can see how much of a difference it makes by having like a little bit of a liner so I'm just gonna do the same to the other eye Shay looks like she has a black liner on her waterline so I'm gonna go ahead and use this pixie and the silky eye pen and that is the perfect name this eyeliner is like one of my favorites of all time I need to go out and buy another one so I'm just gonna line my waterline up here it really helps to fill in the lashes and make my lashes look a little bit fuller. It adds a tiny bit of drama. So I think I do want to do lashes just because the eyeliner kind of makes my lashes look super nubby. So I'm going to go in with these Veluxie lashes. I use this in my chatty get ready with me and I am still loving these lashes. I have a discount code for you guys. I'll leave it down below. And these are in the style Lucy and they are just absolutely gorgeous okay so lashes are on and I feel like that was the perfect finishing touch now the eyes look much more pulled together I did forget to put a color on my lids and it looks like she just has a matte color on her lids so I think I might go in with this color right here this is blur I'm just gonna use this little itty bitty you can use like a flat brush but I'm just gonna use this one this is the mini round brush and then I like that these are small because it gives you that precision so now that that is all done let's move on to the face makeup did go in with this DHC velvet skin co and I still have to play around with this because I think it does pill up on my skin sometimes it really does look like velvet and it does a good job of kind of blurring and filling out my pores I really like that coconut skin primer that we went in with at the beginning I feel like it made my skin look so glossy for the foundation I'm gonna go in with this Kogan Doe aqua foundation in the color 143 this is a little bit light for me right now so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a mixture this is the drunk elephant d bronzy sunshine drops and these are really great for kind of darkening any foundations that is too light for me so i'm just gonna do a pump of that and then we're gonna mix the two together and make a little 
skin cocktail, if you will. I received these Artiste brushes and these are bougie, okay? There is so weight to them and the brush heads are so thick. I recently saw this ad where they used this one brush and smeared like a single drop of foundation to fill this entire circle. They compared it to like a brush and a sponge and the two of them looked so mediocre compared to how the Artiste brush works. So we're gonna try that out and just do like, let's do that, okay? Whoa, I feel like that does cover a lot. And it doesn't soak up the product because the brush is so dense. Wow, I really like this. Wow, I feel like that blended out so quickly. Oh my gosh, I love that. Second of all, this foundation looks amazing. I have been really enjoying that Kokendo foundation, but if you need something with coverage, that foundation is like very light to medium coverage, but the way that it makes my skin look, it's like, incomparable like it just makes my skin look so dreamy so let me actually just wipe off foundation and i'm gonna go in with this bite agave lip balm this lip balm is good but i don't know if it's like worth the money you know like it's really thick but i don't know if it does too much to my lips so next we're gonna go in with that l'oreal infallible full wear concealer that we use to cut our crease I have it here in the color 385 and i feel like it's my perfect skin tone and then next i'm going in with the spicy choco sponge and i have been really enjoying their sponges and their brushes so we're just gonna blend that out this concealer by the way i have been loving because look how full coverage it is it gives you really good coverage blends out easily we have a big color selection and it photographs really well. So I think that is like one of my favorite drugstore concealers at the moment. Um, the other two brushes are in the Artiste set. Like this one is one of them and I don't really know what to do with the shape. So I think I'm going to use it as a concealer brush and blend out my concealer. I don't know. This one just feels kind of awkward. I think the foundation brush is definitely worth the money, but this one is more so like... I don't really know what to do with it. This weekend will be really fun. My girlfriend Sid's flying in from Seattle, not for Sephora, but for a different reason. So it'll be really fun to hang out with her because I haven't seen her and hung out with her in like months. I still haven't met a friend here in LA that like compares to Sid. Like literally we stayed up until like midnight talking last night. And I was like, I miss you so much. And she was like, I miss you too. So our bond is like irreplaceable. So I'm so excited to see her. But next I'm going in with this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. I still have to test this one out more, but so far I think I do really like it. See, I think that powder does something weird and it almost makes my under eyes look darker. So, I don't know, I have to play around with that more. And the, <coughs> don't do that. Shay Mitchell, is that you? So the reason why I actually don't like doing my brow gel until the very end is because I always get translucent powder everywhere, including in my throat apparently. Brandon's trying to rush me out the door, so I'm gonna try to be quick. Next I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Pest Powder in 310 and just gonna dust that all over my face. So next I'm gonna bronze up the face and we're using the Butter Bronzer in Deep. And then I'm using this Luxie Large Angled Brush. And Shea is nice and bronzy, so we kinda wanna imitate that glow. And I like that this brush is so small because i feel like i get a really precise application i love this bronzer i feel like it is the perfect color for my skin tone and it blends so easily it's definitely the best drugstore bronzer that i've ever tried ever so you need it using this 182 brush and this is my favorite nose contour brush of all time this is like 100 percent why my nose contour always turns out so nice so i'm just gonna pat that there and if you guys want a more like in-depth video on like how i contour my nose let me know because it took me a long time to learn. Go in with this tiny little Luxie brush and I'm gonna use this Stila highlighter in the color Kitten. Look how gorgeous that is. Go down the bridge of my nose. Now I'm actually gonna pick a little bit more, put it in my inner corners. And then finishing up with the face um, with this ColourPop blush and this is a Kathleen Lights collab. I forget what it's called but I'll link it down below. Using a Luxie Large Angled Brush. This is the same brush that we use for bronzer. And my nose still looks a little bit girthy so one trick that I will do is I will pick up a little bit of translucent powder on my sponge. I'm just gonna carve out really quick. And I'm just gonna let it sit like that for a second while I do my lips. ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF. And then using the 
Huda Beauty Liquid Matte and Trendsetter. And then I'm just gonna brush that away with the foundation brush. And then setting my brows with the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. And then setting the rest of my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. We want to make the face look less powdery. Okay, so I quickly changed and I think the lip color is a little bit too dark. So I wanted to bring some options and I have here ColourPop. I don't even remember what this is called, but I'm pretty sure it's Magic Wand. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the center of my lips. Oh yeah. And that is the finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I love the way that this look came out. I feel like it's going to be my new go-to glam because I love the way that the eyes look. That is all. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Let me know down below if you have any specific requests or any type of looks that you guys want me to do. That is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.